G'day all, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go and have a look around the corner here at the peninsula and look at the beautiful rugged coastline. See if we can find something to paint. So let's go and have a look. I'll head down a bit further, see what it looks like down this way. Check out these. Someone's spent the time putting this together. Awesome. Someone's also built like a rock wall here, right on the coast here. Okay, so what I'm looking at, what I do like is the coastline here, looking off into the headland with the distant uh, mountains way down the end there. I'm going to throw them in. I'm not going to overcomplicate it and put too many rocks. I've got a wash in place. I've already done my wash and I've let it tack off for about 10 minutes. So um, I want it to be nice and dry, but I've got it. You can see here what I'm looking at. So I'm going to have my headland there, water, sand starting here there's a bit of rocks here and that's all trees in shadow on that so that's that's what i'm looking at there i'm actually about 20 meters up from the water is where i'm going to paint just from the wind to stop the wind um but i'll just walk down every now and then to have a look what i need to have a look at because from the view from here is just a little bit different it's a bit more tucked away so anyway let's get painting I want to try and create a lot of mood in this. The key is not to overwork things and keep dibbling and dabbling and going over and over. Just get the colours on fresh, blend it in a little bit and just leave it. There's a little bit of cloud out there as well. Put an impression of some, some clouds. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get the watercolor in and come to the headland right up the end here. So when you look at the water, the colours I see in the water there is a viridian, a little bit of ultramarine blue, a lizard and crimson, a little bit of burnt sienna to darken it, a little bit of cobalt blue. I'll mix those in and see how it looks. Bit of viridian, ultramarine blue, Bantiana, Elizurin, tiny bit of Cabal, Still a little bit more green, so a little bit of Varinian, a little bit of yellow ochre. 
nearer to the mark, a little bit more yellow ochre. It's okay, I'll just line that off a little bit. It's a little bit lighter. There is actually a bit of sand in between there, I'll put that in as well. As I come back, I'll make this darker. I've used alizarin crimson, burnt sienna, ultramarine blue and a bit of white. Tiny bit of iridium. As I come back, I'll make it darker. And actually coming down here in the middle here, there's a lot of light. Which leads to a rock about there. I'll put that in as well. So basically I'll get the undertone paint in. We'll go from there. Okay, so I'm about 40 minutes into the painting and I want to set it at an hour. I don't want to go any more than an hour. So what I'm quickly going to do, put the impression of some rocks in, some highlights that are just touching the edge here. Get the sand in, keep it nice and loose. We'll have a look at it. So quick. Now the sand is actually in shadow and light. So I'll have to um, put some, some of this sand in shadow. Now how would I go about that? This sand colour that I've got here, a little bit of uh, burnt sienna, we'll see how that looks. A little bit darker than that. I've got a little bit of alizarin, crimson, a little bit of burnt sienna, a little bit of ultramarine blue. And a tiny bit more yellow ochre to give the richness. There you go. Okay, we're on the home stretch now. There's a beautiful sky reflection colour right on the edge of the water.
Okay, I've done the painting. Wow, beautiful spot. Many subjects here, I'll definitely be back. So what I've done, I've tried to keep the painting as much uh, as much as uh, spontaneous as I could. And the light keep changing in a matter of minutes actually. But that's what we're looking at. So that's the painting. There's my palette. Great little experience here. I think I learned a bit today with that changing light going so quick. Anyway, thanks for coming along. Catch you in the next one. See ya.